everything you said we already knew, more or less. Well, here's something that you didn't know. Two of those special atomic bombs haven't gone off. Hello, everybody. My name is Safe Samar, and today I'm going to talk about what if the sun disappeared? Let me begin with some interesting facts. The sun is about 333,000 times the mass of the Earth and produces the same energy as 100 billion hydrogen bombs every second. Its giant mass makes the sun the dominant gravitational force in our solar system that locks all our eight planets into elliptical orbits. At the same time, the sun's enormous energy heats our planet just at the right temperature for liquid water, the catalyst for life. But what would happen if we suddenly lost our sun? What would we feel and see if it just went poof? Who turned the lights off? Light travels approximately 1.08 billion kilometers per hour and takes roughly eight minutes to reach Earth. Therefore, if the sun disappeared, we would remain blissfully unaware for eight whole minutes. Welcome to the dark side. But we wouldn't be left in complete and utter darkness. The stars would still shine and electricity would continue to work as long as the power lasted. We would even be able to see the planets for a brief time. But after eight minutes, photosynthesis, the process by which all plants generate food out of would stop, and most small plants would die within a matter of days. But that's not what we should really be worried about. Earth's average surface temperature would drop to zero degrees centigrade by the end of the first week, and then to negative 47 degrees centigrade by the end of the first year. Oh, it's chilly. All the while, Earth's oceans will grow ever colder, eventually freezing over, transforming Earth into an ice world. But just like deep lakes in winter, only the surface freezes, leaving liquid ocean underneath. If any human survives this extreme transformation, their only refuge would be near a geothermal vent on the ocean floor. These amazing geothermal vents emit heat that wells up from the center of the Earth. On the other hand, the animals that live around these vents today will continue to thrive for billions and billions of years. That's because they don't need sun to live. They get their food, energy, and heat from these amazing geothermal vents. Right now, Earth is orbiting the sun at a blazing speed of 107,800 kilometers per hour. If we were not to collide into any other planets, asteroids, or meteors, it would only take us about 377 million hours for us to reach the near star Alpha Centauri A. So what are you waiting for? Buckle up your seatbelts and get ready for this adventure. Thank you very much.